It was the final journey for Moranga County women representatives Sabina Chege's mother, Susan Chege. But with the political cloud yet to fade away amid calls for dialogue between the government and the opposition, President Kenyatta would delve into the subject matter, saying that his government was only interested in discussions that would take the country to the next level. The president saying that the political season was well over and that it was time for all leaders to come together for the common good of the nation. Inafika wakati ambapo tuasema siyasa zitoshe. Tuungane pamoja, tufanyie wa Kenya kazi. Kwa sababu, that is what Kenyans now want. They want to see our country transformed. They want to see our country moving forward. And that is the dialogue we want to be participating and engaging in. That dialogue that transforms lives, that brings development. Lakini hii ya kuongea masiasa, masiasa, hii goje 2022, mutaongea na William, mimi intakuwa naenda jimbani. Deputy President William Ruto calling on all Jubilee leaders to support the president to deliver on the agenda he presented to Kenyans to win their votes. Na kwa sababu siyasa imefika kikomo na mashindano imefika muisho. Sasa tuko na serikali, tuko na viongozi, na tuko na sera. Deni tulio nayo sasa Kwa sababu wananchi wamemaliza sehemu yao wametupatia na fasi ya kuongoza. Deni tulio nayo ni deni ya maendeleo na kupeleka taifaletu mbele. Meanwhile, President Kenyatta has reiterated his government's commitment to provide affordable and quality health care for its citizenry. The president saying that the government will revamp and empower National Medical Fund, the NHIF, to cater for all Kenyans, irrespective of their status or ailments, within the next five years. The president called on those who have not joined the fund to enroll with the NHIF to access services at no cost.